Our final speaker tonight is Gloria Greenfield, and she serves as the Director of Development and Strategic Planning for CAMERA. And CAMERA stands for the Committee for Accuracy in Middle East Reporting in America. CAMERA has been at the forefront in promoting accurate and balanced and complete reporting on the Arab-Israeli conflict. In addition to her work for CAMERA, Gloria is the producer of the landmark documentary film, The Case for Israel, Democracy's Outpost. Gloria's new feature documentary film, Unmasked Judeophobia, will be released this October. The film examines the political assault against the Jewish people and their right to self-determination. Ladies and gentlemen, Gloria Greenfield. pillars of civilization that are essential for sustaining what makes civilization civilized. I'd like to comment on four of these pillars. Media. Civilization depends upon accurate and fair media so that citizens can understand what reality is really about. The second pillar is education. The intent of education must be for the blossoming of intelligence and leadership. The third pillar is human rights, for the purpose of protecting people's integrity and dignity. And the fourth pillar is legal systems that exist in order to promote and sustain just society. Today. We are living in a society, in a civilization, in a world that is turned upside down. These four pillars that are essential for a life of sanity have been crumbling. Today we do not have media that gives us fair and accurate reporting. We have media that gives us biased and untruthful reporting. How many people here know that on Monday before the terrorist attack in, in, in southern Israel that there were 2,000 Al-Qaeda in the Sinai? How do we understand reality when we're not given the facts? The good people of the West have been dumbed down and have been filled with fear. Many of us might remember the fairy tale we were taught as children about the little boy who couldn't stand silent when he saw that the emperor was wearing no clothes. This is the essential task for us today. We must take back our pillars. We must take back media. We must take back our campuses from those who are not interested in educating our children, but instead in intimidating our students and filling them with propaganda. We must take back the human rights movement that is doing nothing more right now than perpetuating and, and nurturing the hatred of Jews. And we must, must take back our legal systems and we must stand up and challenge the Hague and international bodies like the United Nations that are empowering dictators and cancer within the world. If we do this, if we stand together and do this, then we may truly be able to, as, as Jonathan, Chief Rabbi Jonathan Sachs says, we may be able to transcend probability with possibility. Thank you. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you. And thank each one of you for coming out. We so appreciate you coming out here tonight. And as I said, Feel free to take a sign, please take a sign, visit the food vendors, visit the tables, and before we leave, if I could have two people come up here who are, are sitting down. 
let me. These the if, if the genesis the genesis of of this evening was Linda McGrath and Karen Weinstein. They thought this up. So. So we would like to acknowledge their foresight and give them some flowers. So they, it was their idea to put this together and, and their hard work to put this together. So thank you so much for, for Karen and Linda. So we're going to thank you all for coming. We so appreciate it. And we're going to conclude with a little music and then Anyone who wants to stay, stay, there may be something, if you wait around, right at 8 o'clock, that you may be interested in. So that's all I'll say about that. But for now, there's a little music to, to conclude our rally, Stand for Israel. Thank you very much. Good night. next year in Jerusalem. Shana Habaa, be Yerushalayim, the 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 Shana Habaa, Stick around for 8 o'clock. There's something fun.